hello, my fellow Feedsters. We are in the midst of a very exciting time, one filled with joy, love, and respect across all social media, websites, forums, and chats across the globe. A time when fellas and gals gather to play the time-old tradition of Big Brother. Yet this week, we have witnessed a sick perversion. Something so shocking, I cannot even show it to you here. You see, one of the house guests, Scott, has clearly been possessed by the sexual stepchild of a demigorgon and has been conducting the most horrific acts in Big Brother history. But don't take my word for it. Listen. I am fueled by rage. I am a machine who is fueled by rage and revenge. I am not done yet. I am the debt collector and I am here to settle some past due debts. Shit is about to get raw, uncut. It's Scotty. He's here to play now. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. Oh, my fingers. All right, slow and steady. We're doing good. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, not now. Uh, one more. Let's go, cornbread. Let's go, cornbread. <coughs> oh, come on, cornbread. Don't fail. <coughs> oh, come on, Scott. Oh, oh. I got it. Mm. Oh. We're halfway there. All right, come on. All right, let's go. Let's go! Oh, God, my arms. Ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no, no. Ow. Ah, uh, keep going. Keep going, we're almost there. Ah, uh, one more. One more. <sighs> we're almost done, just a little more. Don't let it fall, don't let it fall. Please, God. Ugh. What? I bring it! So I ask you, my fellow Feedsters, in the name of all that is good and holy, cast your vote to evict Scott today. Do not allow him to continue his reign of terror amongst these sweet and innocent house guests. You have a vote, you have a voice, and you have the power to end his reign of terror. So go, do it, and do it now, or we'll just totally label you sexual predators the way the plastics taught us to do in the house. I'm not Reality Recaps, and I don't endorse this message. Bye, everybody! Everybody and welcome to a very special Big Brother over the top postseason interview show with Shane. You guys can check out all of these shows back at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbott. And if you want flashback times to know when all the best stuff happens, they're over at slash bbott flashbacks. Of course, 24 7 live feed updates over on Twitter at bbott live feeds. And lastly, the three best ways to help support our shows are are to become a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. Uh, you get weekly patron-only shows, prize giveaways for patrons, and access to the patron-only Facebook group, or you can do a one-time donation at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal, or subscribe right here in you now and get all the fun extras from subscribing in you now. Uh, of course, since you are here, spread the word, square megaphone, up arrow, let everybody know and become a fan because, oh, I forgot to ask Shane this, but I'm pretty sure he'll be okay with it. <laughs>
the number one fan is gonna win a sexy Shane autograph picture. With Shane, I will send to your house with a self service stamped envelope if you don't have to pay anything. So, that is what the number one fan is gonna win on this show. But now, let's get to the man you all wanna hear from. It's Shane. <laughs> that was a lot, right? Shane, that was a lot. I talk a lot. That's a good job. <laughs> That's a good job. Thank you, Shane. Shane, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm uh, adjusting to everything. I'm trying to get onto the North Carolina time. I'm still in Cali time right now, but um, yeah, I'm getting in there. I just worked out really hard today for the first time. So you did. It, <laughs> I don't know if you saw Twitter, Shane, but lots of people were insisting we do the show shirtless, and I say no. That's just a joke, everyone. Oh. Other joke, Shane. Can you please? People need to hear it from your mouth. First of all, I'll say this first. First, nobody wants to see me big when Shane is here. So first thing I'm going to do is get out of the way so everyone can see big Shane. And now I'm going to say, Shane, can you tell the people that you didn't really throw your Xbox out the window? Because I can't <laughs> believe how many uh, questions I got about that. Yeah, that Xbox, it was great because everyone keeps asking me, are you going to play Halo with Scott? And really, I'm... I'm really not going to play Xbox with Scott. I'm going to stick to my guns. Um, Scott right now is being crazy. I do not like Scott. Um, I really did throw out an Xbox out the window. Now, the question is, was it already broken or was it running? Um, it was broken. Oh, so that, that really was? You really filmed the original video? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a great video. <laughs> I did not know that. That yeah. is, that's interesting. Now, I hate to break it to you. I tell everybody this, and I will even bet you money. You and Scott, friends by Christmas. I bet you. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, we have to talk about your yeah, no, nuts. Uh, chat room, you guys can start uh, leaving questions. Yes, for those of you asking about my vote out Scott video, I will put it at the end of uh, this edited show for you guys to watch. But I want to get to your first question, Shane, from Redheaded Michelle, who wants to know what surprised you the most that you learned when you left the game. So is there anything you learned from in the house that shocked you? Hmm, basically, I mean, the sisters. And I had, a, I had the talk with Julie. And at the time, it didn't really shock me. But as time goes on and progresses, it kind of is an advantage for those two girls to be in the house. And we came in the house with a disadvantage. And of course, I find out, you know, the girls are like, oh, it's an advantage for Shane and Danielle. They're a power couple. And at the end of the day, it's hypocritical because you came in the house with your sister. You know, those are two votes and no one knows. So um, I think that's the biggest thing I've learned. And, you know, everyone keeps asking me, is, you know, um, is anyone going to find out? Is anyone going to find out? No. And coming back home, my mom said the only time that it got kind of leaked was the first night, apparently, Shelby was like, oh, we're giving everyone nicknames. And that's when, I guess, Alex said, hey, Mo. And then that was, the, I mean, Shelby, I don't know why she couldn't figure that one out. And then and apparently Jeff, when he walked in the door, was like, hey, you two look like sisters. So, and I wasn't there when I heard that. So, I mean, we'll see. It is very interesting. There was another thing, uh, I think a few days ago, where people were talking about baking cakes or something, and both Morgan and Alex were like, yeah, our moms only bake them in a microwave. Oh, my God. And nobody picked up on it. Everybody was just like, oh, that's weird. Both your moms do that. That's weird. That's insane. Yeah, you know, when you're in that house, you're... <laughs> You're constantly thinking. So little things like that probably don't, you know, you don't process through. And like, you don't, it doesn't come across, you don't think about, hey, is there sisters in this house? So when someone says, hey, there's sisters in the house, then you're like, okay, I can definitely pick Morgan and Alex. Um, but yeah, no one will ever figure it out, honestly. No, they won't. You don't think? Yeah. Jason's kind of close to figuring it out. Is he, is, he, is he talking about it? He did, but then he kind of moved away from it. In the beginning, he was very much like he thought it, and that now he seems to be moving away from it. But yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a feeling that might uh, come come out soon. Uh, Wesley Lester wants to know, did you come into the house with the same strategy that 
you left with? Um, it's the weird thing. So going in the house, you know, I wanted to have, you know, a showmance at the time. And then I wanted to have like a kind of like a bromance. I, I was going to, my, my strategy was to be myself. And then, you know, the showmance it didn't, it was more, it, it's, it was more than I expect, it kind of like expected. I didn't meet, I didn't expect to meet Danielle. She's a perfect girl. So it kind of threw me off the loop. I was just there to have fun. And then I meet Danielle and I was like, this is amazing. You know, I'm going to, uh, it was, it was amazing. But, um, and then also Monty, um, I was like, we're, we became really close friends. So I became two, tar- two threats, no matter what. I had the bromance and the kind of the showmance. And so, um, being outside the house and seeing like, you know, I was just, I, I came across as a threat. Like I had two kind of alliances with Monty and then Danielle. So, um, my strategy, it, if let's say they casted me on that show and Danielle wasn't there, the strategy was I would have went with Monty the whole way. But it would it would have, yeah. But it, it, they casted Danielle and she was perfect. So like, I mean, you know, what can I do? So um, yeah. But me and Monty, I think if Danielle wasn't there, it would have been pretty far. Hey everybody. Uh, sorry, I'm interrupting our own show to let you know. Watch this magic trick. I'm gonna put Shane in a gaming headset. Boop. <laughs> Yay! See how funny that? See how good that went? That went super good. Okay, Shane, I want to pull up a tw- question for you from Twitter, kind of based off of what you were just saying. It's mm-hmm. from Note Bax, who wants to know, Shane, do you think your game would have turned out differently if you had not aligned with the Four Horsemen Night One? Um, I never aligned with them. It was never an alliance. And you'll see that because me and Monty were in the bed and me and Monty were like, hey, this is not really an alliance. This is just we're talking right now. So um, to me, Scott took it, the, you know, he didn't think about it because me and Monty in that bed were like, this is not an alliance. We're just talking right now. So um, I, they, I just, it was a fake alliance. It was day one. And like I've said before, um, it was the worst mistake even saying it because – at the time, Justin was a firecracker, and no one, you know, he didn't want to even sleep in the beds with us. So, like, we're like, oh, this is a kind of a great idea. But we, me and Monty, we still said, hey, this is not an alliance. And so he just, I don't know. We're, we're going to get into Danielle because there's a lot of people that want to know about the you and the Danielle showmans. I want to get to a few um, more. Actually, you know what? I'll ask this one first. What do you think were the positive and negatives about being in the showmans with Danielle this season? Um, the positives is she's an amazing girl. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's going to be great after she wins the damn show, right? And I think it's going to go, I mean, amazing. She's an amazing person. Um, The negative of it, I mean, if she wasn't on the show, I probably would have gone far. Um, We were a threat and Alex wanted us out because we were, you know, two votes. And they wanted to make a big move and take out the showman. Was that smart? No, because now everyone doesn't, everyone wants to take her out. They want to take out Scott. Um, That was her move. Is she a smart player? Uh, yeah, she's somewhat smart, but why would she put me up in a golf veto when she knows I was going to be a professional golfer? Right. I mean, <laughs> she knows I play golf and she still put me up. If she really wanted to backdoor me, it was week two, but mm-hmm. she's put, she put me up. I mean, come on. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I agree. I mean, I, I definitely agree. Uh, Melissa R wants to know, what do you think now of Shelby's game and education assuming i don't know if you've heard but she's a lawyer um what's the point (laughs) has has it helped her um no i mean there's some things that it's just why lie about i mean she all she all day she just she's picking out her split ends all day she's picks it picks out her split ends all day and then it's just like okay you're a lawyer um Okay, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't affect me as a player. If I was in the house and they told me she was a lawyer, I'd be like, awesome, good for you, you know? That's the same with same thing with Neely's age. Why lie about something? Right. Well, it doesn't make, it just, like, doesn't make sense, you know? Who cares about your age? So, um, her being a lawyer, I mean, it hasn't helped her in the game, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, well, you know, she's the pizza girl or waitress. <laughs> yeah, she's or... some, wait- some waitress, and she's going to college for, like, 
taking one credit or whatever a year. I don't know. I don't get it either. I don't ever understand why anybody lies in that game unless you're like a millionaire. It's too hard because even Cornbread, I guess he's Honey Boo Boo's uncle. I mean, I don't even knew who Honey Boo Boo was until I got back out of the house and like, I was like, okay, I mean, doesn't... <laughs> I will say not. We just had Cornbread on. You guys can watch that show back on our website. But no, he is not Honey Boo Boo's uncle. He talks oh. all about it uh, in the interviews. So people yeah. can check it out. But no, officially from Cornbread's mouth, he is not related in any way to Honey okay. Boo Okay, then that clarifies everything. Thank God. Uh, Parawolf wants to know, what do you think of Alex possibly selling out Morgan? So basically, Alex was trying to convince, are you caught up on the feeds? Have you been watching or not? Um, if it happened today, I was in a, I mean, I'm, I'm working right now. So I was in right. a dead zone, a dead zone a lot today. Um, but I did catch up on, um, were they in the bed in the London room when they did that? It was about, I'll tell people for those of you guys that might not know, uh, before this POV ceremony happened today, uh, Morgan did win it yesterday, and Alex was trying to convince Morgan to use it on Scott, is what I believe Parawolf is referencing. So Alex wanted Morgan to use it on Scott and take him down, which yeah. I don't know why she would do that. <laughs> Now, you know, after watching those sisters, um, I feel like they've had a very bad relationship throughout their childhood, and it is terrible to see. I mean, me and my brother have a great relationship, so trying to, like, it just, to me, it's crazy, and it just, um, I just, it's terrible. And just the way they act, I think they're just, it's, it's really bad as sisters. Why would you want to do that? You know, it's like if if one of those sisters won, I would hope they would kind of split it. it could, but by the, it doesn't seem like they would because they're pretty mean to each other, um, especially Alex. And I just, I don't know. <laughs> really? See, I kind of feel like Alex it cares more about the sisterly love than Morgan does. Yeah. But I will also say I don't buy it for one second. Yeah. They can do this whole act like they hate each other. Up until yesterday, mm -hmm. they have never put the other one's name out there until yeah. yesterday. And then still only to each other. I think that's a little uh, story they met up before they went in the house. Let's yeah. try and convince people we hate each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't buy it. Well, if, it, if, if they would thought like... She Alex or Morgan should have went to the late night jam Marie. That would that should have been their strategy because then they would know everything. But uh, it didn't turn out that way. That is what we all wanted. We yeah. all wanted. Well, at least Alex. We all or I'll say all our fans really yeah. wanted Alex to move over and join you guys. Yeah. I guess. Do you like late night jam Marie better, or do you like what social media has labeled you all the misfits? Um. I like both because Late Night Jamboree is just like, you know, it's a cool name. And The Misfits is great, too. So both of them, I love I both I love both names. It's great. Um, now, when you were on the block and we saw you giving your speech, you yeah. said you were going to go out of this game and campaign hard yeah. against the plastics on social media. Do you still plan on doing that? Yeah, and like you know, like I said, I I got out sat I got out Friday, but I'm what is it Tuesday? So I got a, my first Twitter Saturday, I think it was, and yeah. so I'm I'm trying to get to learn Twitter better because I I honestly this is my first time doing it. Um, but yes, I'm trying to do my best. I have I don't have unlimited data, mm -hmm. so I I can't be on it all day. So um, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna do my best. I want like right now I want Scott out. Right. And is it going to happen? Um, I don't know. It's with these American votes. It's kind of tricky because now Neely's up and it's kind of like, uh, you know, but I hate you. I want Scott. I think with all due respect to Danielle and your relationship, I have a feeling there's a lot of people that would like to help you learn Twitter, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm not that good at it, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> 
think there's a lot of people who would help you. Um, yeah, I uh, I don't even know what to make of the vote. It seems like there are websites like uh, that are very anti-misfits for some <laughs> reason. A lot of the big websites seem to be anti-misfits, and I don't understand why. I don't see Plastics playing a great game. I don't either, because, you know, you know the word fake, okay? This is how I define it now. The misfits to or the like our little you know group. Yeah, we talk shit. Everyone talks shit in that game. There's that side talks shit. Mm -hmm. But we were real. We shared stories about each other. We knew each other, you know. I feel like, you know, the plastics all they do is actually talk shit and talk game all day. Um, do they actually know really what you the, each other's like lifestyle stories are? No Whitney, yes. Because, you know, te technically, Alex, Morgan, and Shelby are all lying about their lives. So it's all fake. And so <laughs> it's just, it's going to be great when they all, you know, get to recap and watch right. who each other really is. Because we all, in the Misfits, we know each other. We're telling each other our stories, you know? Yeah. I that I kind of feel a little gypped on that this season with the way it is structured with no jury and no uh I mean I don't even think we know if there's a finale nothing's been confirmed or denied uh, by CBS so I feel like yeah. other than this show you're welcome America become a patron we don't ever get to see any of your guys's reaction to <laughs> finding out all this stuff when you find it out yeah um so, uh, that kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, what factors do you feel led to the house being so divided? Do you think it was just that you guys were more real versus the other side, let's say, uh, being so real? Well, do you you guys remember the first week when we were on the hot tub sharing weird, crazy stories? Do you remember that? Right. Uh, okay. That's when the house really divided. It, it really did because everyone who basically shared a story during the Mif the misfits and they're in the late night jam really, um, you know, sh sh Shelby didn't share a story. Uh, you know, Monty, Monty would just walked away. Um, but even like, you know, Alex, she's like, no, for work. I understand that. Okay. But Morgan, I mean, apparently she goes, she's a college cheerleader in a sorority I mean, come on, I know you have some stories, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. that that's when it split. And because we all were like sharing funny, stupid stories. And that's when we all got to connect with each other. And we basically said that when they all left, we we're like, this is perfect. This is the great crew. Yeah, uh, I think it, it is. I love the way, in a sense, the house is divided, but there is also part of me that kind of wishes mm -hmm. it was a little less divided, because I think people get to then use that as an excuse yeah. in their own agenda with us as America being uh, a player in yeah. the game. I will also say uh, it was confirmed that you guys are all being flown out for a finale by Julie Chen. Therefore, I am allowed to confirm it. Yes, they are being <laughs> flown out for a finale. Julie Chen said it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you are. Uh, surprised if you didn't know. Here is a uh, question from Jody in the chat room who wants to know, have you been asked how much you want how much you're watching the live feeds now that you're outside of the house from people in your everyday life like yeah can't oh you're asking right. a lot well no um i'll tell you what happens I, you know i wake up at eight and i work till like five to six so throughout that day if i'm not in a dead zone out here in north carolina i'm looking at you know all the updates and i'm tuning in occasionally and then I'm up till I'm like I said I'm up till three o'clock out here, which is you know twelve o'clock out there, and I'm watching the live feeds and seeing what's going on. Of course, I'm watching Danielle. I told her before I leave every every night at twelve o'clock, nine o'clock their time. I'll be watching. So oh, and she doesn't do the Rachel <laughs> Riley ten ten twelve o'clock Shane shout out talk. That is <laughs> that, actually I appreciate that about Danielle. Um, what are your thoughts, uh, Angel Eyes wants to know, what are your thoughts about the comments that Scott made towards you during the POV comp? The one he just won? Or not, not the one he just won, the one that I Morgan think won? the, the what? yeah, the one with your last week. Yeah, I, wait. Wait. 
you want to know what the comments were? Yeah, tell me the comments, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to know what the comments are, too. <laughs> I don't remember them. Angel Eyes, what were the comments? Horrible memory. We'll go back to that question. Um, do you think that Danny would ever work with Morgan? Seems she's willing to, but the other girls are standoffish about yeah. it. Brian Fan 9 wants to know. Um, yeah, I think Danny, okay, Danny is a smart player. And I, if she wants to get to the end, she's going to have to work with them. But she knows at the end she can't trust them. I mean, everything they say, they do the opposite. Like the night I was going to go before my DR, I asked Morgan, hey, you going to put up me or Danielle? And they said, Danielle, we're going to keep going with what America's done. So every time they say something, it's the opposite. You can't trust them on anything. Even the, the first week, um, they're like, we're taking out Chrissy. What happened? Chrissy had zero votes. I mean, you, you can't they, you can't trust them, and they you know with their votes. So right. Uh, Little Big Red wants to know: Have you spoken with Monty since getting home? Yeah, I have. <laughs> and are things good between you guys now? Yeah, um, yeah, we've we've spoken, um, we shared words, and everything's good. Um, he, he, you know. He's taking everything with like, you know, a grain of salt, which, you know, it's like, I'm, a, I grew, you know, people make mistakes and that's how I've grown up. I was like, you know, you, he just made the mistakes the wrong time on TV and America got him for that. Um, and it's just, it's, you know, he, I've talked to him and I, I, I feel for him. I, you know, it's, that's just the type of person I am. I'm very sensitive and I feel like he's a good guy. He just, he messed up. He really messed up. Right. And he apologized for it. You can also yeah. see that on our website. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Powerwolf has uh, a great question, which you did get this from a lot of people, but I see he's asking it most currently. What did you think of Scott? So I don't know if you saw this yet, but Scott last night was purposely trying to oh, pick a fight with Danielle, following her around the house, standing behind her, shaking his shaker. What did you think of that? <laughs> I think it was terrible. Scott is being very creepy right now. And I just, why piss off Danielle? The first thing, you know, mm -hmm. she's a, she's a teacher. So she's deal, she deals with little kids like Scott, you know, he's, he's just, he's not making smart moves. He's going to, you know, he's going to get out of the house. He's shaking the damn thing. Like I just, it's just so annoying. And, um, Danielle put him in his place. And I was so happy when she did that, you know. And then uh, it's just it's Scott. It's even like this morning. I, my Twitter was going crazy. My my best friend was like, "Dude, uh, Scott's on live feed. He's been talking in the hot tub for the past four hours." And I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "It's like it's so early over there." And I caught the last thirty minutes, and I'm like, "Dude, this kid is losing it." And I can't wait till he gets out of the house and realize that Alex is just totally messing with him. And even those feeds, Scott's like, I want Alex to win. He doesn't even, he does not even want to win. He's, it's, that's why in the house, I was going brain dead talking to Scott. I was like, dude, why are you even in this house? Well, right. to, take, to make a big move and take me out, great. America's going to hate you for that because I'm like playing the game. Yeah, people may not be here for, the, like I was there for the $250,000 you know, and having a great time. You're here just to be kind of like a douchebag, you know? So... I think Scott thinks he's playing the game. In Scott's defense, I'll say, I think Scott thinks he's playing almost an evil dick game or he's yeah. playing a very aggressive game. I have seen people make the argument they're trying, he's trying to play a game where uh, the house guests will think America hates him so much that they want to bring him to the end because then he couldn't win but it would okay. get him to the end. I don't necessarily <laughs> believe that's what he's doing now. Yeah, I just, I mean, when you're in that house and you talk to Scott, you're really, you're just like, dude, uh, you know, you, you just. <laughs> there's something weird happening with Scott. There's, I, there's something weird, yeah. I agree with you, there's something weird. But here is a great question from Pam D. Regardless of the why or the when, there's so much conspiracy theories around it. Um, America really seemed to be on the misfit side in the beginning of this game. Okay. How do you feel now watching where it seems like America, in a sense, has kind of flipped on the misfits in your side of the house? I mean, I don't know. 
That's, I, if I can get that question, I would love to know um, because every time I watch the feeds on Alex and Morgan and Scott, it's just they all they're doing is talking shit. And like I said, we talk shit too, but I mean, it's just constantly. Um, I, I really do not understand. Maybe it's because they're sisters and they, it's a great twist. Um, I, I would love to know why. You know, and then there's some people that don't like Neely. I'm like, why don't you like Neely? What did she do? And Neely doesn't even understand what she did in the house. And so, and like even Chrissy, I love Chris. I, I did not like Chrissy the first week. And then I became like amazing best friends with her because, of course, I wanted her out the first week. Mm-hmm. And, and so, like, I, I did see that people didn't like Chrissy. So it's, it's kind of like I don't, I don't know what they're doing, you know, so... Well, I have I have a very important question for you, a very serious and very important question. One of, you will probably get three hard-hitting questions this show, and this is your first of them, so I hope you handle okay. this one well. Okay, all right, I'll take it in, so give me a minute, all right. Okay. It is, why, when you were leaving the show, and this is from I'm Sick and Twisted, why, once you were free and left the show, did you not buy a bullhorn and pay a homeless person $10 to scream over the backyard wall, Morgan and Alex are sisters? Um, I'm going to answer well, it for you because that yeah. would be against my CBS it's a, it's contract. Against, it's against your rules, so. Yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But I agree. Yeah. Here, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you another uh, one of your really hard hitting questions, Shane. What would it take for you to cut your hair <laughs> oh man that's a question that everyone's going to ask me forever um and you know what with the time this is what it's going to happen when the time comes when i want to cut my hair mm-hmm. there's two uh, i'm definitely going to donate it okay i'm definitely going to donate it and or even do an auction and then donate it and they put the money towards you know a great cause so but when am i going to cut it Mm, everyone likes the hair, you know, so like, and I love the hair. I've been growing it out for three years. It's, a, you know, it's, it's me. So, mm-hmm. um, what would it take? I don't, you know, Danielle, not to like it. How about that? <laughs> Shane, I am someone and I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> I will say, I will remind everybody. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> number one fan <laughs> is winning a sexy autograph Shane picture from when Shane had short hair. Oh, those are the good old days, right? <laughs> those are the good old days. I like the beard. We were not fans. I don't know if you know the temperature. We were not fans when you shaved the beard in the house. I heard, yeah. We liked the beard back. But in I, I have to represent the people that like your hair, too. Sure, there are tons of people that like the long hair. Yeah. Well, I shaved, you know, I shaved my beard because we did have a shoe. And then um, my mom loves it when I shave my beard. So it kind of like, you know... It reminds me of my mom sometimes. So I just was like, all right, let's shave it real quick. You know, normally, Shane, I don't like to divulge things that happen before we go live on this show. But since you brought up your mother. No. <laughs> she said maybe she wasn't a little bit of a fan of your game. What didn't she you like? Know, what didn't my, she like? She wanted, my mom wanted me just to go far. Mm. And I became a, um, I became a, a threat really in the, in the beginning of the game. And, um, you know, I've had a lot of people say when I, you know, when I was with Danielle, I was kind of quiet. And so, um, you know, I, you know, I saw it, but I don't regret anything I did in that game. So, it, yeah, <laughs> you know, she wanted me to go far and I, you know, that's, that was her, um, that, that's, yeah, she wanted me to go far. Okay, and I'm in this question from Leslie K. English is uh, it's seeming to be one of your most uh, asked ones from the chat room right now. Uh, Danielle said you didn't ask her to be your girlfriend before <laughs> I know. you left the house. I didn't even respond that on Twitter because, you know, she knows I'm going to see her in a month and it, it wasn't the right time because we had a great, like, it's, it was amazing. She knows. You know, if you, I, I watch her on Twitter, she, you know, gives me the shouts out. She's like, grow your beard when I see you. I miss you. And, you know, I told her, I was like, I'm going to be waiting for you. So, um, I don't really, I didn't see the point, you know? Okay. All right. So you will, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just checking. I don't know how straight people work. Um, let's, though, speaking of Twitter, let's pull over another Twitter question from Rachel Svat, who wants to know, from the Misfits, who do you want to see go home next? Uh, as much as I love him, Justin. Oh, really? And I know the feeder's going to hate that, too, but... Um... I watched him yesterday and I just was like, this is insane. Like, I mean, come on. I mean, he was, dan he was dancing when we were doing the first HOH comp, but he know he should know that there was two people that got knocked off, at, you know, before me, come on, Shelby and Jason. So, um, when he put five up there, I just was like, no, I was like, it's time for you to get slop and you've had so much great time. We know you love to cook and let's see you on slop now. So of course I'm definitely voting him for slop this week, you know, because he needs to get his, his head out of his ass to me. And I told Danielle and Chrissy before I left, I said, the one person you can't trust in this house is Justin. I mean, he's flip flopping and you can see that in his live feeds right now. And, um, I hope they see that. And it's, you know, so. He waffles, uh, someone in the chat room just said he waffles a lot when he talks to Whitney. I yeah. definitely agree with that. And Horn88W, Shane basically did just answer your question. Horn88W wanted to know what do you feel of Justin's gameplay? So. Yeah, it's, 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 he, he's a very socialite. And then, but he's also very paranoid. It's, and that's going to be, he's actually, his paranoia is going to dig himself a grave because Jason is trying his hardest, his hardest to like calm him down and just be like, dude, just listen to me. But he's, Justin is just flip flop, flip flop. So he's walking, a, he's walking a thin line. Right. Uh, who would you want Danielle to end up in the final three with? Or who do you think she would have the best chance to win if she was in the final three against those people? So what two people um, should she bring in order to win? Well, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, no, but yeah, of course, I love the late night Jemmery. Um I think that's the thing is it's going to be tricky because, you know, America's going to loves everyone at, the, at that time. So um, I hope, you know, I don't like Alex and Morgan, so I would hope Chrissy. And it depends on if Neely's going to go home. Um, if she's up next to Jason, everyone, I mean, everyone loves Jason. So it's going to be tricky. That's why I was like, if I'm up, if I'm, you know, final three, I don't want to be up next to Justin. Because oh. I, mean, I was like, he's an amazing person. That's why I was like, you need to get Justin out if you want to survive. So I would say, you know, Neely and Chrissy, because they're great girls. All three of them are amazing. Well, speaking of another great girl, Shane, you, I'm going to assume, have a Big Brother alum, <laughs> great person fan in the chat room right now, Tiffany Arusso from uh, last season. Okay. And she wants to know, hey, Shane, if you could do one thing differently, what would it be? So I guess if you could go back into the game or change something about your game, what would you have done differently? Um, shoot. <laughs> I would have been, I would have gone to production and said, don't cast Danielle. Because <laughs> I mean, um, I fell for her. And that, I mean, I was a big, I was a big threat. I had Monty and then Danielle. Um, I think one of the big other mistakes was probably talking to Scott the night on week two, trying to get his vote. Mm -hmm. and, and then going to um, the room with the misfits, trying to get Scott. That was probably my biggest regret because then Scott was like, I do not like Shane at all. So that's going to be my biggest regret. Interesting. Yeah. I, go ahead. No, I just because after that, you know, he even mentioned it to me. He, he's like six people went up to the room and was wanting me to put, put me up. I said, yeah, I was one of those six. But you were going to be a pawn. We didn't actually want to vote you out. We wanted to vote, you know, Monty. But, you know. Interesting. I don't believe this is the real 
Devon in the chat room. Also Devon from 16 and this season. But if it is, if it so, is, we'll... Wait, mom, Mama Day? Mama Day. Mama okay. Day. Um, I, I honestly, I also, you know, you kind of already answered this, but in case it actually is Devon, I'll let you answer it again. Uh, do you think that Monty's comments were actually racist while in the house? Um, shoot. Yeah. I mean, at the time it was very bad. I mean, it's like I said, again, he made a mistake. Right. Yeah. Like, and he made the mistake at the wrong time. It's terrible. And, um, that's the thing. That's the same thing with cornbread. You know, that house, everything changes in a day. And, you know, that what Monty said and what cornbread said basically was ammo for everyone, in the house to take them out. Mm hmm. Plain and simple, they dug themselves a grave. And so um, I know he regrets it. I, mean, I know they all regret it, you know? I think they all regret it. Uh, yeah, I, and, and like you said, they apologized. They apologized, yes, exactly. And, and every time I've, I've seen their apologies, and they to me, it's very sincere, and they mean it. Um, Angel Chick wants to know, would you ever play Big Brother again? Yes. You would. If yeah. you could pick to play in this in a format like this, the online where America has a lot of influence, or if you could play a quote regular season uh, yeah. where we have less, which one would you want to do? Uh, I play regular season. You would play regular season. I'm yeah. waiting for one of you to be like, I want to play this one again. I don't blame yeah. you for not wanting to play this one. <laughs> um, if you played again, um, is there anything? Is there any way that you would adjust your strategy from the way that you did it this season, other than not casting Danielle? Like, would you try yeah. to be more low key, or um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be low key because that's I'm not I'm not a low key person. Yeah, I'm kind of quiet, um, but I still would have done exactly the same thing. I would have been like, I would have found Monty even the first first week. Me and Monty were like, hey, we kind of got to separate because we're already having like this little romance. Um, but I would, I would be myself still. I would interact with everyone. I would still try to figure out the groups because that's what you do. Everyone does split at, at the time. You just don't know when. Our season just split really damn early, like really early. And so, um, yeah, and we were only casted 13 people, by the way. So, I mean, you have a lot more people you're playing with than just in a regular season. So, um, that's what I would still be myself. I would still find, a, you know, my ride or die. And just kind of chill, but place, you know, I would still play hard. I mean, okay. Now, speaking of playing hard, going back to Angel Eyes's question before, where she was asking what your thoughts were about the comments that Scott made. So, mm -hmm. the comment that he made was Shane, you were voted out because you threw all the comps. I didn't throw any of the comps. Okay. Um, the first HOH, I didn't know I can put it on my chest. They, they didn't say that, and I wasn't trying to bend any of the rules. Right. Um, I didn't, and like I didn't, if I if I knew I could have put it on myself, I probably would have lasted all night. But I'm here holding it like this. My forearms are shaking, and I'm like, "Damn, this is insane!" And then, of course, I, once I sit down, I'm like, "Wait, you can hold it onto your chest," and so like. You know, I didn't want to be a baby about it, but if I knew that, I probably would have lasted a lot longer. Um, but no, I never threw anything. And then that's the other thing is people say that I didn't do anything in the house. Okay, day one, I drank the damn potion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And people, you have to, it's like drinking the potion, of course, either I was going to be HOH, head of household or not. And I've, of course I was not. And going through my mind was like, damn, who should I give this potion to? Because maybe if I give it to the first person, now you're going to think I don't like them at all, you know? So that's a big, that was like big on, my, like, I just didn't know what to do. And it was very, I'm going through all this stuff because I was like, maybe I should give it to Chrissy, but then Chrissy's going to be like, Shane doesn't like me. That's why he's giving it to me. So I don't become HOH. And then of course, you know, my second week I won my veto. And then third week, I thought I was doing great until like the last two days. And I'm just like, okay. So I, to me and myself, I did, I played, you know? 
Right. Uh, I want to pull this question, and I- I'll also throw in, Scott's still not over you drinking that potion. I think he likes to work <laughs> that into every single thing. I-, I didn't even listen to his ending speech either, because I just was in the zone. I didn't even hear it until Julie Chan actually told me. <laughs> oh, we saw it. We saw it. You're like, no. ah, ah, no, ah, ah, no. <laughs> Uh, Shell, um, Chanel Baby wants to know, who do you want to win the next HOH? Um, the next HOH, it would be, it would be great if someone from the Misfits won it. I, you know, I mean, it would be great. Like Jason. I would love Jason to win it. <sighs> well, as we're seeing this week, it doesn't matter if any of the Misfits win anything going yeah. forward. Uh, For the care package? Well, sure. Uh, that's true. That's true. Okay. The care packages could influence it uh, a lot. That will, you're right, that will help them. Yeah. We strategize each week before the next voting and go over all the scenarios. And it is hard for me to do that. I don't know how you guys deal with it in the house. I have a whole yeah. new respect for you all in that house. No, you just, you're in that house you wake up and you constantly you're thinking you're thinking you're going through all the scenarios and that's the thing why it's crazy that Amer- american has a has a bit they have a big hand in the scene because you can't plan out the week because you don't know who america's going to put up as a nom mm-hmm. and when they put it at like again like neely's up it throws a big wrench into the game and it's so tricky so um it's intense. Like you're constantly, even like one day I was like, I do not want to talk about game at all. And of course all day we're talking about game. It's just, you're always in that house talking about game. It's just, yeah. <laughs> well, I love this game question from Cindy 1981 in the chat room. And she wants to know, Shane, if you could replace one member from the misfit Alliance with a plastic, who would it be? So who would you okay. get rid of from the Misfits and who um, would you take from the Plastics? I would get rid of Justin. Mm-hmm. And then I'd put Whitney in. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I was expecting Alex. So you, you would put Whitney in. Well, it's, I, I'm putting Whitney in now because I know. I mean, if you. He told, if you told me while I was in the house that question, it would have been probably different because, you know, but now that I know, you know, everything they said and all that. I mean, I, I, Whitney's playing a sweet Southern charm. She's doing that. And it's only going to last so far with Whitney. Mm-hmm. And so, and there's this thing. I love Justin too. But like, after I saw him do this, after I saw yesterday, I just was like, you're going on slide. It just, it rubbed me the wrong way. Even the veto, not giving it to Danielle. Um, it just, no. Yeah, I mean, what did your gut tell you in that moment when Justin was like, I don't know what I was doing. I picked the wrong person. Like, Oh, I think, no, the worst thing was is when he's, the worst thing was was when he picked Danielle, Winnie, of course, looks at us. So that means Alex won't be, gets a veto. And I'm like, oh my God. I was like, I was just, when she said that, everyone was like so pissed when she said that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, He knows the game and, and you know, he, he's on the show. He has to know what's going on. And if he wanted to throw it, yes, put it up and just wait for Danielle to get it, to, you know, get the veto. But even, even if she did get the veto, I, I ran through the numbers. It still wouldn't have mattered. I was still going home. Right. So it, 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 at the end of the day, it, it didn't matter. But just for just that he won it was like, what, what are you doing? Where's your alliance right now? So, and of course, and his thinking is, damn, Alex just kicked these, kicked some butt right now. I don't want to get kicked by, you know, I don't want to get my butt kicked. Right. So, yeah. Um, BBOTT email wants to know, why do you think Alex gets so much credit in this game when it seems like she hasn't really done anything? Um... I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's just because she, I mean, she did win the HOH. She did get the veto. Um, and she's really puppeteering Scott. You know, and then it comes to find out Monty was being puppeteered by them. So um, give it, maybe give it the credit to Alex and Morgan. Give it to both of them. So, uh I think Alex has done a lot. I yeah. I think Alex has done a lot uh, in the game. Why should people vote Scott over Neely this week? 
Well, of course, I love Neely. She's in the late night Jamboree, and she's a great girl. And I don't understand what she really has done. Um, Scott is just being a complete creep, um, and people are seeing that in the house. He's, of course, like like last night with Danielle. Um, and then, I mean, as a personal, and like, like I'm not, like I'm not mad. Or, like I just, I'm having fun right now. I'm like, I'm having a great time because I'm with you guys and the mm-hmm. fans having fun with it. But like, again, like when I left, I was like, Scott, you're just doing this just to do it, like have it on your resume. So like as a player still, that's why I wanted, I want Scott out because he's, he wasn't there for, he's not there for the money. Right. Or, you know, like that's what really pissed me off. And I was like, dude, like, what are you here for? And he never really gave me a straight answer. And like you said, he's a super fan, but in my mind, he wasn't, he's not, he was, I, I just couldn't stand Scott. Yeah. <laughs> like, and the stuff he's pulling this past couple of days with Danielle and everything, it just, no. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm still saying it by Christmas. <laughs> mark my words. Which no. is there? Is there one house guest that you wish you would have connected with, or one that you regret that you connected with? Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I regret with Scott because, the, like again, the day one man, he's he was all heard about that damn alliance, which was never an alliance. Um, yeah, it's just with Scott. I just. I couldn't, and then even last, even yesterday, even yesterday, he's like, "Damn, I made a mistake by taking out cornbread," and he even was all on my butt about taking cornbread out. I was like, "Dude, you voted cornbread. Why are you giving hell hell about it to me?" You know, so um, he's that's like he keeps regretting he did that. I'm like, no, I mean, his cornbread was gonna go out. Um, but yeah, I would not. I regret Scott. And and is there anyone that you regret not getting closer to or not working um, with in the game? Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would be you know some. Of, I mean, the plastics. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, if, uh, yeah, like Alex, Alex or Morgan or Whitney. Um, but I even then, I I I did try to talk to them occasionally in the kitchen. I did try to you know socialize with them. It just never worked out. Even like it was like basically me and Danielle because Danielle. I was like, hey, you should try to talk to them and try to get into that group. I we, like we had this conversation, but they would never take in Danielle. They just wouldn't. Right. So it kind of when you're in the house, you like every even outside of the house meeting someone, you get that vibe off people, and you get it from them. Yeah. Uh, Tawana Wana Wana in the chat room wants <laughs> to know. Uh, Shane, do you have a plan when Danielle gets out of the house? Now, we know that you're saying yes, boyfriend, girlfriend, but are you going to move in with her? Is she going to move in with you? We're excited to meet her kids. What is it going to be like? What are you doing? Are you yeah. buying a ring? What is the wall color and wallpaper color going to be? What's uh, going to be uh, like? Tell us. Um, no, I can't, I can't wait to meet, you know, her son, her family. And, um, it's going to break. I want her to win so bad. And, you know, I have, I'm rooting for her. And yeah, I, the son thing, and then the family, and then this is the thing: is she's been wanting to live in North Carolina for two years. Mm-hmm. And after I heard that, I was like, "This is amazing," you know. And she wants to live in Raleigh. She's never been to Raleigh, and Raleigh's nothing compared to Asheville. You know, I, I live in Ash, Asheville slash Bavard, and um, we have beautiful mountains. And so, you know, she, I know she has to finish some schooling. And so I'm just we're gonna I'm gonna play it by year, you know, we're, and we're gonna see. I want her to. Come visit. I know we want to go to Tahoe and go skiing. So those are, I think it'll be her birthday's in December, you know, December. So we'll do something for that. And then maybe Tahoe after, and then we'll just, we'll see. And then of course you guys will know because we'll post it. So. Right. Uh, Knit Nat in the chat room is saying, yes, we do have beautiful mountains. I guess uh, yes. she <laughs> lives by you as well. Uh, BB Fanatic, I love this question too, wants to know, who do you think should get this week's or the next upcoming yeah. care package, which is to eliminate three votes? Who would you want to see get that care package? That's okay. So that's the tricky thing. I was thinking about it all day today and yesterday. Um, you, the, you can't really answer that to whoever wins the HOH. Exactly. If we win the HOH, or if they win the HOHs. So, um, that's the tricky one. I can answer the I can answer the double HOH. Of course, I want Danielle to win that one. Right. Um, 
Because I was thinking, should Danielle see if we did not win HOH this week, then I'm like, give it to Danielle. Mm -hmm. But I think Danielle's pretty safe right now from what I've been hearing. Um, I think Chrissy's more of a target than Danielle. I, you know, I might be wrong, you tell me, but uh, I think she's, I don't know. I mean, everything changes within the hour, too. I look at, I look at these, these feeds from Morgan and Alex, and I'm like, everything they say, it's like one thing after another, then they always backtrack. So, um, mm -hmm. I, yeah, so like, I don't want to waste a care package if it's not going to really help her out. So if we, you know, if we win the HOH, don't send it to any of, you know, of our crew. Well, it seems like you or are right. It seems yeah. like you were all over it. So you, yeah. when you see it happen, you definitely need to tweet out your opinion. I yeah. agree with you. I won't answer any questions on what we're doing into the day yeah. of voting. And then we exactly. do a show about it. So we will start incorporating what Shane says into yes, those, yeah. into those yeah. uh, daily shows. <laughs> Uh, Bieber Ferocious wants Ooh. to know, would you ever do a YouTube vlog channel or do sit down videos? Uh, what do you guys think? Should I? Yeah, you <laughs> should, but I don't know what a sit down video is. I don't know what a sit down video is. So should I do like a YouTube channel? I guess. I mean, we can get you on you now. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I will explain to Shane about the you now for all of you. So don't be worried. We'll explain it. But I still don't understand why it's called a sit down video. It's interesting. So, well, I mean, I am sitting down right now. So <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, I see Susan Palance, and you actually got this from a lot of people. It seems like it's okay. the staple question. Would you ever want to play Survivor? Yes. <laughs> would you ever want to go on Amazing Race? Um, I would love to do Amazing Race, but I need to get a lot better at stick shift. And I've heard you need to know stick shift. So, um, yeah. You know what else you need to do? You need to bring uh, flashcards with you. I used to uh, cover Amazing Race and used okay. to love it. And you guys can go yeah. watch the last show and find out why I stopped covering it. But anyway, <laughs> one of the best tips ever, I believe uh, the Beekman boys gave us, and that you bring flashcards with pictures on it of like yeah. an airplane, a hotel, a taxi, because every language understands a picture. That makes sense, yeah. And you, but I, I, I would love to do, uh, like, Survivor. I think it'd be great. <laughs> it'd be so fun. If you did Amazing Race, I even know where this is going, but who yeah. would you want to do it with? <laughs> who do you think? Okay, we're taking her <laughs> off the table. Now who are you doing it with? Oh, uh, my dad. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I, that would be interesting. Yeah, I would take my dad, yeah. Yeah. I almost want to say that might be more appealing to them if you applied with your dad. Yeah. Rumor has it, uh, Big Brother house guests are asked on finale nights if they want to do it. So maybe if that's true, you might find out on finale night. There we go. <laughs> uh, Angela M wants to know, would you ever do, would you ever model or do any photo shoot stuff with Danielle? Like a couple's yeah. model. You would. Yeah. Of course, yeah, she's a beautiful woman. Have Not Tot wants to know, if you could pick next week's Have Nots right now, who would you pick? Justin. Uh-huh. You got two more. A Alex. Okay. <laughs> Morgan. Who is it this week? Where's my cheat sheet? It's um, Neely. Jason, Neely, and da -da -da Scott. Okay, yeah, so we can do that. We can do it. We can do it. I, think, I really just think Justin needs to just he needs to, it needs to happen like it really does you know so he does um let's go over I don't know who Lori's mom is but Leslie K English says Shane Lori's mom 83 years young sends her love uh, do you know who that is no me neither maybe, uh, guess, unless they live in my town i guess i don't know <laughs> maybe they live in your town they did uh, they did say it when you were talking about uh your town do you think that scott's alliance with alex goes a little farther than game for example people are thinking that scott has a crush on alex so do you think it's more that he has feelings for her or it's solely game <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think everyone 
would love to just probably just take a little peek in Scott's brain and just to see what's going on. I think, like, I don't know, after last night <laughs> and then seeing him up all night because he's never up. I mean, unless this is just really like, hey, America, please don't don't vote me out. Mm -hmm. You know, try to trying to get America to to sway the vote, of course. But um, I think he's just Alex has him so wrapped around his her damn finger. It's amazing. And I think, yes, he might have a crush on her, but it's just it. I, like in the house, you don't feel like he's having a crush. You know what I mean? Right. Because he's he's not cuddling with her or any of that. So I think it's just he's playing game with Alex. Um, but it's just it's really amazing the stuff he's been talking about with Alex. Like it's Alex, Alex, Alex. Yeah, I pretty much think it. it I think he already has his well filled with girls at home, and yeah. I don't think that he needs any more. <laughs> no, especially Alex. Right. And when he find and when he finds out the stuff that she's been doing over his back, mm -hmm. it's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm going to remind everybody we have about ten minutes left, so make sure you guys uh, become a fan now if you are not. And so that you don't miss any of our future shows with house guests and that the number one fan so far is Camila Cabana. You love that picture. <laughs> I love it. I think I was like, uh, what was I? I was like 20 years old, 21. No, I was like 21. I think I did that. I don't know. <laughs> I love how you act like that. Like you're so far away from 21 uh, right now. Uh, 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 like it's a lifetime away. <laughs> Um, who do you want to win? And no, you can't say Danielle. So Danielle got two hundred and fifty thousand dollar consolation prize. Uh, now, who do you want to win? Um, I think Jason. Really, I think Jason is like Jason is an amazing person, and I think he really needs it. I like Chrissy needs it too. Um, so if it was you know, I just Jason is just. Uh, he was in the house. He backed me up. He tried to get Scott. And I, I didn't even know that till like, you know, my parents told me. Um, but no, Jason, when I, I, I got really close with him, even when we were doing, you know, um, the HOH competition, we were just on that barcode going as a team. And so I got, I got really close to Jason. I know we weren't ride or dies, but I feel like Jason really deserves it. And, you know, he did get his second chance to be in the BB. OTT. So, like, I feel like Jason, this is his shot, you know? Yes, we 100% are Team Jason uh, around here. And you're right, he did want a campaign for you. He wanted... He wanted you to stay in over Danielle. Yeah. He tried yeah. to make it so that uh, you would stay in over Danielle, but America. <laughs> America. 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 Uh, uh, our <laughs> Carrie M wants to know: Are Scott's feet as bad as everyone says they are? <laughs> yeah, they're like fuck. They're like paws. <laughs> okay, that's great. yeah, they're, they're they're bad. Yeah. I uh ooh, I really want to save that. I really want to save that question for last. So. I'm going to say, what was your favorite comp that you played in? A lot of the younger fans always want to know what's your favorite comp. Golfing one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it was it was it was literally the perfect comp for me. And like, you know, I made the 30, and then Alex luckily got a 30. And of course, I was getting extremely pissed because I was like, I'm you know, it's a skilled thing. I was getting I kept getting the ball up there and it kept missing. I would look at Danielle and she's like, just chill out because I was like, maybe I should just go for the 15 twice and just get this over with. But I just kept going with the 30 going with the 30 and I finally got it. So I loved it. Yeah. I, uh, it was definitely a good comp. It was fun watching. I kind yeah. of like watching you and Jeff interact together. Did yeah. <laughs> you feel like he was being a little snarky? I felt like he was being a little snarky to all of you guys. Um, I never took it that way because Jeff, he was really cool to me. He's like, you know, when I got the balls out of the pool, he's like, oh, I, I definitely like this kid already. And then even like even my last shot, he's like, Shane, this this could be it. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be the shot. I'm going to win this shit, you know. And of course, I got it in the hole. So, um, no, Jeff came across as an amazing person and uh, cool to be with. Perfect. Uh, here's a great question. Was there any souvenirs that you took from the house? Uh, I don't know if I can answer that question. Like, it is, 
You can. Of course. Okay. Of course, the golf ball. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, the, you know, the shirt, the infection shirt, right. and then um, the little card that said vampire. Oh yeah, you should definitely keep that. You can make a little shadow box. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, those were the two, th- the three things I took. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this be your last question, but then I'm gonna okay. give you the floor to uh, say what you want to fans as well, and then we're gonna f- let people know where they can follow you on social media and everything. But I'm yeah. going to save. I have saved your hardest question for last. Okay. And it is from Giselle BB17, and she wants to know, Shane, can you please describe? cornbread sheets <laughs> oh man dirty cornbread sheets um how do would i describe it basic it's kind of like a joke that cornbread sheets were dirty um just uh is it it didn't really apply into anything because he wasn't dirty he was taking showers and everything you he know was not dirty he, he was not dirty it just it, it just it was a perfect thing that Justin said, and then we just kept carrying along with it. And like, even J- J- Justin's songs are so catchy and you can't sing in the house. So like, that's all we keep singing. But, um, no, cornbread wasn't dirty. It just, it was just, we're no. being funny. Yeah. So. Exactly. And I, and I'm yeah. pretty sure her question was being funny too. Yes. Do you think yeah, that, I, do you think Justin should have a CD when he gets out of the house? Oh, he probably already does. People are probably, you know, getting his music. I mean, it's it's so funny. Like even the birthday song for Whitney was just perfect. It was just amazing. Mm-hmm. So, um, I love. That's the thing is, I love Justin's character and like him as a person is amazing. And that's why it's so scary if they don't take him out and he's put up next to people. You know, as a, as a, as a game player, you know, you don't want to be next to him. Like that's you know that's the thing. So, but right. I love Justin. And I don't want to see him go, but. As a, as a player, if I was still in the house. Right. You know. I am going to ask one last question from me. True or false, your messy bun is an homage to Nicole, winner of Big Brother 18. Is an homage? Yeah. Is that a word? <laughs> Sounded good. <laughs> homage. Oh, well, that's the th- honestly, I didn't really watch B- I didn't really watch BB 18. I watched probably about four episodes of it. Um, so... Um, I did like say I like, yes and yes. Kiss her right. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, Shane, I'm going to give you the floor. I'm going to give you the floor full screen without meaning at all because you have tons of fans watching you live right now. What do you want to say to all the people that have been supporting you all season? Um, I really appreciate the support. Um, I wish I was still in the house kicking some butt next to Danielle, and I'm not in the house, and so. You guys need to put the support for Danielle and take out Scott. Let's take out these plastics. You know, let's keep the late night jamboree. There's going to be a time where the late night jamboree is going to split. And you got to think of both sides. And But I'm just, as I appreciate all of the support you guys have given me. And like I said, I've had Twitter for like one day. And then I see haters and I see lovers. It's mostly lovers. And I really appreciate the support. Um, but let's, let's, let's keep Danielle in this game. Let's get Scott out. Let's get some of these plastics out and let's see where it goes because um, it's quite amazing seeing the live feeds. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Now, where can people find you, uh, Shane, on social media? I'll put everything below that you say, but let's start with Twitter. You're on Twitter, right? Yes. Yeah, it's um, Twitter is Shane Mm -hmm. P. Chapman BB. Okay, Instagram? Instagram um, is Shane P. Chapman. Okay, are you going... Is it, What about Snapchat? or uh, Sh- Sh- Snapchat is Shane P. Chapman as well. Yeah, and I'm adding people, so, like, yeah, you'll see my stuff. <laughs> is there any... Facebook? Do you want people following you on Facebook? I No, because Facebook, I'm keeping, like, you know, that's, like, my uh, private should. stuff. You should. Yeah. You should. Or create a two. Like, I have a... Like I'm popular, but I'm just saying I have a fan <laughs> one and I have a uh, friends and family only. You could do that yeah. too, a fan page or, or yeah. whatever it's called. And, then, and the other thing is I like yesterday, I, I do play Call of Duty a lot. And like I posted, hey, if anyone wants to play, I played with a fan last night, Jake. And like he asked me so many questions and we had a, he's like, am I really playing with Shane? So I'm legitimately playing with people. So when I ask, hey, give, you know, send me your gamer tag. I'm actually playing with you guys. 
Um, Shane, I think you're missing an opportunity to A, get votes for Danielle. You yeah. can trade it for playing games with you. <laughs> or get votes for Misfits. Or you could, I guarantee you, if you uh, auction that off, I bet people would donate money to charity to get to play a game with you. Yeah. You definitely should uh, check into that. Now, most importantly, do you have a P.O. box? Or are you getting one? Yeah, I've been seeing that. And um, I've got a response. There's a there's a fan that's doing that. Um, I'm going to get a P.O. box. I'm just going to wait for Danielle, though. Um, oh, you just, guys are going to get one together. I mean, I mean again... Doesn't that it make sense, right? I mean, you know more than me. Um, I think you should get separate ones. Get separate ones? Okay, mm -hmm. then I'll get I'll get separate ones, and then I'll post it, I guess, right? Yeah, I, <laughs> and I, I, will, put it, I will put it below this video. Just because okay. there are going to be people that just want to send you stuff, just yeah. want to send Danielle's stuff. You're going to have somebody that's going to be like, I sent that to yeah, Danielle, yeah, yeah. and yeah. now Shane has <laughs> it. And yeah. they're going to show up at your house and like, yeah, yeah. Why don't, yeah. like don't do it. Well, yeah, I just, I didn't know, you know, and then, but, you know. <laughs> Good separate chain, separate chain. Uh, live DRs are tonight at 10 p.m. Will you be watching? You know I'll be watching, of course. Well, you are always welcome in our chat room, Shane. Thank it's you. the Reality Recaps chat room on the feeds. We will be back tomorrow, possibly with Mike, with uh, Chrissy's Mike, I think, will be joining us to talk. Oh, hey, you got you to gotta tell him I said hey. <laughs> I will tell him you said yes. hey. Yes. I will do it. We will see you guys all uh, later. Oh, wait. Camila Cabana is the number one fan. Camila <laughs> Make sure you send us uh, a DM. But she is your number one fan. She'll be getting awesome. that picture. We will uh, see you guys all later. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, just kidding. I love you. <laughs>